Well, we're out here planning the next build, um, unpacking our parts, getting everything a little organized here over on the bench, laying out how everything's going to go together. Um, this system is going to be uh, another fun one, actually. It is a single zone. However, we're going to be also implementing a heat exchanger so that a backup wood boiler can be um, sort of piped into the system as well. So I'm starting my initial layout on the board here. Um, we're going to wire this thing and control this thing um, so that the customer with this one actually wants to be able to um, probably only swap over from the boiler to the uh, outdoor wood boiler maybe a few times a year. So we're not going to make it like an automatic system. Um, I did recommend that and, you know, explain that we could pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, to make it as easy as possible, but he kind of figured um, make it a, a somewhat manual switch over um, But still make it simple um, because I guess the goal in the end is when he sells the home um, he's going to be um, Probably eliminating the wood boiler or at least just leaving the system so that it's um, working with just the boiler alone um, That being the propane or gas boiler alone and then the future homeowners can sort of decide um, what they'd like to do, but um, so this one like I said, it's gonna be a little uh, a fun system to put together, just a little bit different. Um, I've done these before, but I've done them in different orientations. So um, this one's just going to be a little unique. We're going to be implementing a NaviClean on this system as well. Always highly recommend that. Um, the heat exchanger is actually going to be nice in this instance for um, hydraulically separating the outdoor wood boiler from the closed loop system that is going to be actually running through the radiators. So this this home has a bunch of radiators on the single zone. Um, so I actually on this one, even though the boiler can control up to three zones, I went ahead and purchased um, a single zone switching relay because I plan to actually be able to set this up so that in the future um, you could actually add a aquastat to be able to temperature or monitor the temperature of the supply coming from the wood boiler and actually trigger the boiler to turn on or just turn on the um, pump. So a little complicated if, if you haven't done that before. Um, so I'll probably explain that a little bit after the build is completed and how we ended up doing the wiring. So stay tuned. Um, we're going to be working on this one, getting this wrapped up in the next few days. So if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead follow us and check out the other videos i got going i got a lot of cool videos explaining all about boiler systems all about circulators all about electronic controls tons of videos to uh sort of get you up to speed on how all these systems work if you got any questions at all leave a comment email me um, my info will be in the description as well as on the uh on, i have some info on my channel about what we do um, if you would like me to build you a system or even just consult you on your old build, on your own build or, or even fixing your current system, getting that up to, to spec or a little better efficiency, feel free. Please reach out to me and uh, we could get something going. And uh, that'll wrap up this one and we'll see you guys on the next one.